What do we got? So I have this pretty little thing. Let's see it, Edgar. It's the quantum controller box. Yes. Over. Hey, hey. Like how it's actually uh, made out of vinyl. No! Yeah. I got it. I told you not to. Quantum power! Are you morphing in there? There's no morphing in here, man. Oh, like me, I never got to be the Quantum Ranger, or whatever Ranger that is. Hey guys, uh, Nadira, would you hand me one of those cryogenic containment pods, Chup Chup? <laughs> Without the attitude, thank you. Is this not the coolest thing ever? When I worked on Power Rangers, I was around so many props and costumes and sets and vehicles and all sorts of cool things, and the whole time I'm just thinking, I think I need that. Of course, taking things was frowned upon. But what fan hasn't dreamt of being able to own some of this stuff? I believe all the Wild Four Swords were sent back to Japan. Not sure what became of the Jungle Blaster, though. All right, let's take a look at some of the things that are going to be for sale. Here's a full team of Mighty Morphin. Rita's Wand, Goldar, Finster, Power Coins. They've got Power Morphers, various Blade Blasters, White Ranger and Saba, Serpentera, Lord Zed's Staff, Thunder Megazord Head. They do have some movie stuff. Here are the Ninjetti costumes. Here's Masked Rider. I don't see Furbus, though. Season 3 Morphers and Ninja Head. Here are the Alien Rangers. Power Rangers Zeo. Oh, looks like Gold Ranger hasn't survived so well. There are Beetleborgs, not to be confused with Machine Empire Generals, of course. And Beetleborgs Metallics. Power Rangers Turbo. Here's a Megazord Head and Shield. Auto Blasters. Phantom Ranger, Divatox, Elgar, who's not looking so good. Power Rangers in Space. Here's Alpha, Zane, Astronema. They've got various Zords, including the Astro Megazord prop. Mega Voyager Head. A Galaxy Glider. And speaking of Galaxy, here are the Lost Galaxy Rangers. They've got the costume for Sika, a Quasar Saber, various parts for Trakina, and then back on Earth, we've got Lightspeed Rescue, Super Demon Olympias, and the head of the Omega Megazord. And now it's time for Time Force! They've got a white Time Force uniform, Rancic. Look at all the bad guys. Gluto and Frax are missing some feet, though. Then I'll stop at Wild Force, or we'll be here all night. Lunar Wolf, Supermaster Org. They've got costumes and props from every season. When I saw all the stuff that Hasbro's getting ready to sell, my reaction was, wait, there's still stuff that- Edgar. And- Candace. Don't have? Edgar and Candace were able to accumulate all these props because they've always been for sale. Power Rangers is a live action show that uses a ton of costumes and props, and every year is a new theme, so it's all new costumes, all new monsters, weapons, ranger suits, helmets, sets, vehicles. All of that takes up a lot of space and it's expensive to store it all, and really, they're not going to use a lot of that ever again. Realistically, the two options here are have the company pay to let the stuff keep rotting in the warehouse, or give fans a chance to own it. You know, there's looking at this as a fan and as a business. And as a fan, it's like kind of upsetting to see them getting rid of all this stuff because then it feels like they can never make a new show or go back and use all this old stuff in an anniversary thing or whatever else. You know, I've always talked about how cool I think it would be for there to be an exhibit where people can go and see all these costumes. Honestly, I'm probably one of the few people that actually would care about that. Give me the inner gems, Mia. Give me those inner gems. But they actually did have a pretty good little exhibit at Power Morphicon 2018, and this is a lot of the stuff that you're seeing listed right now. Saban didn't have the original Saba prop, but they didn't stop it from appearing in Super Mega Force. Even though Saban was paying to store a physical Galaxy Glider in California, they made a CG one for Super Mega Force. Hasbro had this awesome Astro Mega ship sitting in storage, but they made a new CG one for Cosmic Fury. Earlier in the video, you saw Edgar and Candace brought over a yellow movie helmet, but you also saw a full yellow Ranger movie suit with a helmet being displayed at one of the Disney parks in Florida. 
And at the very same time, a full yellow Ranger movie suit was on display in New York City at Planet Hollywood in Times Square. Pink Ranger was also in New York and in Florida, and they've got another Pink Ranger up for auction in this current thing happening soon. So sometimes they'll have multiples of the same thing, sometimes they'll make new versions of whatever they need. As fans, we want this stuff to last forever. But unfortunately, over time, some of the monster suits and props begin to dry out, they become extremely brittle, and some of them start to disintegrate. Which is also something to keep in mind when you're bidding. People have been asking if I'll be bidding on anything, and obviously I think it's a lot of fun to work in real props to our skits. Honey <laughs> Mia! Honey Mia, you're ruining my review! <laughs> but I just assume these things are gonna go for a fortune, at least a lot of them, so probably not, but this is the unfortunate reality of TV and film props and, and things. Like, some things do last and, and get displayed or put somewhere where the public can see it. A lot of things end up in the garbage. I think a lot of monster costumes actually ended up in a wood chipper. They throw stuff out. They repurpose things. They repaint things. They turn old things into new props, and then those go in the garbage. And if they don't, they eventually, like I said, they just they dry out and they crumble eventually. It's nice that this many things actually survived and... Now fans are going to have a chance to, to be able to own them, or maybe some of the actors. <laughs> I, I know there are a handful of actors that would have appreciated it if, if Saban, Disney, or Hasbro had given them some of the stuff that, that they used. In some cases, that did happen, and some actors have, have sold some of those things, too. Uh, Mia actually ended up with Jessica Ray's Wild Force costume. Patrick sent that to us. Shout out to Patrick again. So Mia's worn both white and yellow civilian Wild Force costumes. Where's Queen Banshira? That's what I want in my front hall. And I wonder what became of their command center miniature. I just wasn't that shocked to see them selling stuff. I mean, they haven't used some of this stuff in years, in some cases, decades. Like, it was a little weird to see them getting rid of Dino Charge, because, like, in my mind, that's pretty recent. But then, that's almost 10 years ago already. Even, even you know, Dino Charge. Ninja Steel's even a while ago. It, it's a lot of stuff. It cost them to store it. Japan sends stuff over when they need it. They make new stuff when they need it. Stuff that used to be shot physically is, is CG now in some cases. So it, it didn't make sense. You know, I, I, I get both sides of it. It's sad to see it go, but they weren't using it. It was sitting in boxes. I, I'm pretty sure the Legend War Rangers came over from Japan while this stuff was, was sitting in a warehouse in California while they filmed it in New Zealand. You know, if they, if they do a new live action thing, it'll be some combination of Japan sending stuff over and or they make new props when and if they do a new show, assuming it's a live action show. We just don't know. We don't know what the future is. Hasbro still claims they're working on some new thing. There's supposed to be a new toy line coming from Playmates maybe next year. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna end here. Thank you guys for watching. Six new vlogs are up on our vlog channel for our vlog people. Hope you guys will check those videos out. Lots of good stuff. Road trip stuff, Power Ranger stuff, lifestyle stuff, you know, all good stuff. Gonna end here. Thank you guys for watching. Good night. <laughs>